Hello everyone and welcome to how to download and install a Mountain Blade mod. Now, the first thing you need to install a mod, or at least I need, is this, WinRAR. Now, you can easily find this on Google by typing in WinRAR and you can just click on the third link, I believe. This is the third link down here, so you click on this. It takes you to this website and then you can click on download WinRAR if you want the 32-bit version that is. If you're looking for the 64-bit then you click here. I use the 64-bit because I am on a 64-bit operating system. Now what WinRAR will do is it will unzip any file that you have that is in a zipped folder. Now you can also use 7-zip to do a similar thing. If we go to Google and type in 7-zip, here is the link, 7-zip.org. You can go here, you can find the .exe file for 32-bit, which is pretty much what you want to use, I believe. And there we are. So you download that, you open it up, and then you can extract files. Now, we are on the Mountain Blade Nexus, which is where I download practically every single mod I've ever played and now let's say we want to download let's let's just type in blood and steel okay so here's blood and steel I think this is the correct one that we want yes it is okay so now I'm already logged in so I'm able to download larger files than what is the default for non members and so if we go to files and download manually and I select London UK2 as that is the closest server to me. Now of course what it says here it actually helps you out it says don't know what to do with zip, RAR or 7-zip files after you've downloaded them? Check out our article on file compression basics and what programs to use. But I'm already making a video on it so you don't really need to check out their article but it is very interesting and it does help out quite considerably. So now, once that has been downloaded, which it will be in about five minutes, so I will see you soon. Okay, so we're back, and now, as you can see, I did actually realize that Blood and Steel is a .exe file, so it has its own installer. So, if we click on this and open it up, instead of actually bringing up something that you need to extract with WinRAR, it will just bring you to a setup wizard, which is really nice. As you can see here, this is where I have my Mountain Blade modules folder, and it's already got it installed there. So if I click install, it will extract everything, it will copy all of these things, and it will actually install it for me. So I really don't have to do anything whatsoever which is rather nice. And I thought I'd just show this off anyway. It's not necessarily showing anything complex. It's just following all the prompts. But after this is done, I will then show off the 16th century installation, which is a .rar file, which will be using WinRAR. Okay, so that is installed. So now all I have to do is click Finish. And there we are. That is Blood and Steel installed and next time I start up Warband I should be able to access it whenever possible from the modules menu in the first time launcher. So now we'll install the 16th century. So now this is WinRAR, this is this the evaluation copy which is the free version and everyone can download it no problem whatsoever. So now if you highlight the 16th century folder go to extract to then you go to your local disk C, program files, this is where my particular install of Mountain Blade is. Then you go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you see all of your games there that you have installed. I have Mountain Blade here, as you can see there's Mountain Blade Warband. You click on the plus sign again, you go to modules, you click on modules itself, you don't click on the plus sign and then you press OK. And now because I already have the 16th century installed it will ask me whether I want to replace the files 
So I will actually say yes just to demonstrate this. There is no real need for me to do so, but it is for demonstration purposes. Oh yeah. So now it will extract and there we are. That is it. That is the fastest way of installing a mod for Mountain Blade. And now I'm able to play the 16th century whenever I like. So now, of course, this is using WinRAR. I have never used 7-Zip in my life, so I could not possibly comment on how effective that is, but I've heard only good things. So if you do choose to use 7-Zip, I would assume it is relatively similar. So that is how to install a Mountain Blade mod. So I hope this video has helped you out. And so, I will see you next time.